93 or er, 963 hertz also known as the god frequency is believed to have powerful healing and spiritual effects a quantum chip built by google just completed a task so fast it would have taken the fastest supercomputer on earth 10 septillion years that's a one followed by 25 zeros for context the entire universe is only 13.8 billion years old but then something strange happened online just hours after Google's announcement, social media exploded with bizarre claims. TikTok, Reddit, and YouTube were suddenly flooded with videos and posts suggesting something astonishing, that Google's quantum core had detected what mystics and spiritual communities call the God Frequency, 963 hertz. The story spread like wildfire. Influencers claimed Google had accidentally tapped into a divine signal, one that some believe can unlock higher consciousness and connect humans directly to the universe. So what's going on here? Did Google's quantum chip really stumble upon a mystical frequency? Or is this another case of high-tech science getting twisted into modern mythology? The truth behind this viral story is even more fascinating than the fiction, and it tells us a lot about how real scientific breakthroughs get hijacked in the age of instant information. Google's real breakthrough. The claims began shortly after Google's quantum AI team announced a major leap forward. Their newest chip, called Willow, didn't just improve performance, it redefined what's possible in quantum computing. The Willow chip demonstrated exponential error reduction. That means as Google increased the number of qubits, the fundamental units of quantum information, errors didn't multiply like in traditional systems they actually decreased. Imagine building a tower where every additional floor makes the structure more stable, not less. That's essentially what Willow achieved. It was a genuine quantum leap, literally. But just as the science world was absorbing this incredible feat, something completely unexpected began happening on social media. The rise of a viral myth. Videos with titles like, Google just found God's frequency, began appearing on TikTok. Reddit threads speculated wildly. YouTube creators rushed to upload content, suggesting that Google's chip had detected a mysterious 963 hertz signal, a frequency long associated with spiritual awakening. Suddenly, millions were watching and sharing a narrative that had nothing to do with Google's actual announcement. What's strange is that none of these viral posts cited any evidence. No official Google statement mentioned detecting 963 hertz. No scientist involved in the project made such a claim. No research paper backed the story. And yet, the myth grew. Fast. Why 963 hertz? That number isn't random. In certain spiritual and New Age communities, 963 hertz is believed to be the highest tone in the Solfeggio frequency scale. Followers say it resonates with the pineal gland, activates higher consciousness, and connects us to the divine. Other tones in this scale include 528 hertz, the so-called love frequency, 432 hertz, said to harmonize with the cosmos. These numbers have become popular in meditation music, sound healing, and YouTube channels with millions of subscribers. But here's where things get tricky. The science behind the claims, Despite their popularity, there's no scientific evidence supporting the idea that specific audio frequencies have mystical properties. Studies published in peer-reviewed journals have examined these claims and found no measurable effects beyond ordinary sound processing. In other words, 963 hertz is just a tone, not a gateway to higher consciousness. Still, many believe, and part of that belief is fueled by misattributed quotes. You've probably seen this one. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. Sounds compelling. The problem? Tesla never said it. It's a modern fabrication made viral to give spiritual ideas scientific credibility. Which brings us back to Google's chip. What Willow actually did. Let's cut through the noise. Google's Willow processor didn't detect any divine frequency. What it did do is far more impressive and real. The team managed to coordinate 68 tunable qubits, choreographing them with extreme precision. As they scaled up the system, 
they discovered something groundbreaking. The error rate dropped. This is the opposite of what typically happens with larger quantum systems. Traditionally, the more parts you add, the more unstable a system becomes, like trying to get 68 people to dance in perfect sync. But with Willow, the dance became more accurate as more dancers joined. In technical terms, this is called below-threshold performance. Google reduced error rates nearly fourfold through careful frequency tuning and qubit control. Importantly, this has nothing to do with external audio frequencies. The frequencies mentioned in Google's papers refer to the microwave frequencies in the gigahertz range used to control and read the qubits, not audio tones like 963 hertz. Quantum computing versus quantum sensing. So, could any quantum device detect frequencies like 963 hertz? Yes, but not the kind Google built. There's an entirely different field called quantum sensing. For example, researchers at MIT have developed sensors using nitrogen vacancy centers in diamonds. These devices can detect tiny magnetic fields and even reconstruct audio signals like music and speech. They're essentially ultra-sensitive microphones on a quantum level. But again, Google's Willow chip is not a sensor. It's a computational engine designed to solve problems, not to listen for mystical tones. How the myth took hold. This brings us to the core of the issue, how science gets transformed into myth. Once Google announced Willow's achievement, a familiar pattern began to unfold. A real scientific breakthrough occurs. Technical terms like frequency, quantum, and vibration get misunderstood or misused. Spiritual concepts already circulating online, like the God frequency. After Google's 2019 quantum supremacy announcement, some people started claiming quantum computers could access alternate realities or communicate across timelines. None of that was true. Even Dr. Scott Aronson, one of the world's leading quantum computing experts, warned against this exact trend. He said, quantum computers are powerful, but not magical. Be careful not to fall for quantum mysticism. His warning was spot on. The truth is more incredible than the fiction because Google didn't need to discover the God frequency to make history. They've made a genuine leap in the field of fault-tolerant quantum computing. This could eventually revolutionize fields like drug discovery, cryptography, climate modeling, artificial intelligence. This is the kind of breakthrough that changes everything, not because it's spiritual, but because it's real. The lesson here? In a world full of wonder, we don't need to invent magic to be amazed. The real accomplishments of science are already extraordinary. If you found this breakdown fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe. We bring you real investigations into the science behind the headlines, separating fact from fiction in the quantum age. Because sometimes, the truth is stranger and more powerful than the myth.